We have a living room again. Look at this. Well, kind of. <laughs> Hey you guys, I am just heading inside to go grab things out of the fridge. <laughs> it is Sunday, December 4th, I think. All right, I've decided I'm gonna actually start this video when I get back inside because my hands are full and I can't focus. <laughs> like I said before, happy Sunday. It is a little bit cooler outside today. It's probably 50 but it's still nice out. We had rain all day yesterday, so today has been nice. And the guys are playing disc golf right now. They needed to get out of the construction zone and go, you know, do something, enjoy themselves for a little bit. I think Hunter, this is gonna be Hunter's last week here. So he's been here for like almost a month, which is insane, but we've gotten so much stuff done, like I showed you in the last video. And we've had some extra updates since that video, so I'm gonna, probably bring you guys in there and show you just a few little things that we did this week like some more lights a little bit more drywall I believe and um, the new door and then also I finished painting our bedroom so that's cool I am here with the kitties Taylor and I went grocery shopping this morning and we got all the food for that we need for the week so now my day is going to be meal prepping this week we're having like Mediterranean chickpea bowls. So I'm making crispy chickpeas, like a curry saffron rice, and then a cucumber, tomato, lemony, like dill and cilantro. I think that's all that's in it. Uh, like little salsa, I guess you'd say, to go on top of it. And then I always just make like a little lemon dill yogurt sauce to drizzle over all of it. So I have all of our meal prep containers out. I just started cutting the cucumber and the tomato and I was like, you know what? I haven't gotten to film any like food stuff in a long time and it's actually light out right now. Usually when I'm cooking it's dark because it's winter. So figured I'd actually film it a little bit. So let's do that. And then I'll walk you guys through the house and show you the little bit of stuff we've done. Have the veggies cut I have the veggies cut for our little topping for the rice and chickpeas I can't make the chickpeas yet because the sheet pan is in the dishwasher inside but that can like marinate for a little bit and then I made the little yogurt sauce that I put on top of mine Taylor doesn't like it because he doesn't like sauce 
but that's fine. Um, so I think since I have to wait to do the chickpeas, I am going to ham and scallop potatoes tonight. So that's, we're just doing like old fashioned, you know, like a little bit of cheese, a little bit of milk and potatoes and our ham <laughs> for dinner and then veggie side. So we're having green beans and roasted carrots on the side. So I'm gonna actually get the green beans and the carrots chopped up real quick. I'm using this as my little compost bin right now <laughs> because it was already dirty and it was on the stove. Any vessel will do. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not saving these to make stock or broth or anything, it's because the stove inside the house doesn't really work yet. <laughs> I don't know if it works. It smells really bad when we turn it on. So we are probably gonna get a new one before we actually start cooking anything inside. And in the camper, we have to be very conscious of the amount of humidity we bring into here because our window wells just fill up with water when the, ins or the when the precipitation builds up on the windows, it like rolls down and then we have little puddles. And Taylor does not breathe well. He's got really bad allergies and he doesn't breathe well when the humidity is really high in here. So we have to be very conscious of that and boiling a large, large pot with broth or something on it, in it, would not be a good idea for in here. So for now, these just get to go to hungry bunnies that happen to pass by our compost bin. And that's fine with me. There is a season in life. There are seasons in life and this one is not one of broth making for us. Well, kind of. <laughs> they have all of the insulation that's going back up in there, in there, and now we just have to clean up. So once we clean this up, I can prime in here and it won't be yellow anymore. That means almost all the yellow will be out of the house besides the stairwell, which that's probably gonna happen way later on, but I'm excited. Also, I wanted to show you my pal. This is Plank. If you know, you know. Keep scraping. <laughs> Which side should I sign on? Left or right? No. Oh, I tripped over the
guys, I'm way behind this week on filming. Shocker, I know. Uh, this work week was just crazy, so I haven't had much time to do anything, really that much housework done either this week, but I took today off, it's Friday, and actually did finally get a chance to start patching and sanding and priming all of the living room walls. It was a lot. <laughs> They're really messed up. We actually are going to have to like go back and redo some of it because it just is they're awful they're like so beat up so i'm gonna go in there and paint the walls that i can paint we have paint samples for like the fireplace accent wall in there and we're still trying to decide what we want to do we have a light green a medium green and a dark green i think we're leaning towards the medium green <laughs> but you'll have to let me know which one you like the best you'll have to let me know which one you like the best um yeah so I got the walls primed the other night and now, hi Miss Peanut, we match today. And now I'm gonna go inside and paint the white walls. I put bird TV on for the cats in the background when I go work in the house. <laughs> I'm that kind of cat mom. Also, ignore that mess, that's my compost, <laughs> but our neighbors brought us some cinnamon rolls and I'm so excited. Aren't you excited? We haven't really met any of the neighbors around here yet and it was really nice to like meet someone and like, I don't know. It's fun to, fun to see who we're going to be living with or living by. It's fun to see who we're gonna be living near for like hopefully the rest of our life because we never wanna move again. Thank you. We really appreciate it and I'm really excited to eat them. I'm sure they're going to be delicious. and give you guys a little update on everything that we've gotten done this past week. I personally didn't do that much stuff this week, not gonna lie. I have a lot of dishes that are piling up over here that I'm going to show you because when I say like I have a lot of dishes, I mean I don't have a single piece of silverware that's clean. So yeah, this is, <laughs> this is literally all of our dishes and uh, that's what I'm going to be spending my afternoon doing. But I'm hoping to go pick a Christmas tree, little mini Christmas tree or some sort of, some form of that on the property today as well. If I can find my boots and get another little jacket on because I think it's only like 40 degrees. It's a little chilly. The last video I walked you guys through like the whole house and showed you the massive improvements we've made so far, which it's a, it was a lot last week. This week, 
I don't think we got as much done, but that's just because we got like the majority of our projects done at that point and we're kind of running out of money. <laughs> so we, for, for the time being. So our projects right now are just a little bit smaller and they're gonna go a little bit slower for now, which is fine because all the big stuff's done. So I think in the last video, there was still insulation filling this up. There wasn't a whole ceiling. We got that done this past weekend. The guys rented the insulation blower and blew all the insulation that was in here up there. We got new insulation as well. And this week my job was priming and painting in here. Um, we're gonna be doing crown, like upper trim and obviously lower trim at some point. But for now, this is how it is. And it looks so much nicer. I started painting the trim in here on the windows. We're gonna repaint the fireplace as well. It's just really gross. You can see, we don't even know if it works. I have to have someone come inspect it, but it is uh, propane, so. We think it was originally wood burning and we might change it back to that at some point, but definitely not in the near future because I'm sure it works fine as is. We just wanna check it out and make sure, so. We have a green wall again. <laughs> Like I said in the last video, we really like green. Just feels nature-y, so. I brought some plants in here. I brought a couple of our plants that we're doing poorly in the camper in here just to <laughs> brighten it up a little. I have to do another coat on the green today. You can see streaks in it. But for the most part, this room is done for now. This will be our floor in here eventually. It's just a water-resistant laminate because this is the cheapest thing we can get. And we have a similar one in the camper and we really like it. So this is like $1.69 a square foot. So for how much we need, it should be like $1,500, including the underlayment, which isn't bad for most of our house. However, if we do, if that ever gets worn out in like five or 10 years, I don't know how long it lasts. If it ever gets worn out or messed up or anything, we do want to eventually, if we get to that point, we want to replace it with real hardwoods that match our existing hardwoods in the bedrooms. So we are planning on keeping those and refinishing them, but it's not in the rest of the house. So our floors aren't gonna match, but they're still gonna both look nice. And we actually got a sander last night. So Taylor, we need to get a lower grit sandpaper, but Taylor sanded some of this and it's really soft. So it's gonna be, we're gonna do like a really natural color. We'll probably just do a clear coat, honestly. I think this is red oak. So definitely a lot prettier than what it looks like now. <laughs> so that's our hopes for the flooring. But um, other than that, I think the rest of our drywall is finished up and that's like our main, you know, progress for the week in here. So this was our last piece of drywall up there. It's a little weird, we need to trim it. But Hunter put that up yesterday and I think he'll be here only for a couple more days. He's heading home, he's been here for over a month, which is insane, he's done a lot to help us. So we really appreciate it. But once he's gone, we have a lot of drywall to finish, so. We've never done that before. We've looked it up and hopefully, you know, we can, hopefully we can get it done and do it well and make it not look really bad. <laughs> but the rest of my day is going to be, it's not time. The rest of my day is gonna be a jumble of random things. So I want to get a little Christmas tree. That's our coffee maker. <laughs> I need to do dishes. There, oh, there's so many. I really don't want to do that. <laughs> I need to do dishes. I am working on a new t-shirt design, which I think is going to be really cool. I'm very excited about it. Uh, so I have to actually do the artwork for that today. Um, I want to spend some time with these guys because they were lonely yesterday. I want to finish up painting. What else do we have to do? You wanna go for a walk? It's kind of cold out there.
little trees, like small trees. So I just collected some branches and I'm gonna kind of like make a little Christmas tree out of them, <laughs> or at least attempt to. I've never done this before. Mm -hmm.